Hi guys, in this video, I am going to give you the biggest solution of the problem, which is like in Shopify, can we use PayPal, credit and debit card or not? If yes, then what's the uh, process of adding that specific functionality into your website? And if not, then what is the specific condition which is not fulfilled and because of which you are not able to use the Shopify um, uh, to add your PayPal credit and debit card buttons. So of course, uh, I have also faced a lot of uh, issues in that. And you know, I was tried my best to find out the solution because in my previous videos, I uploaded uh, my PayPal uh, credit and debit card buttons code. But most of the cases, people were just asking me that how we can use that specific code into our Shopify website to use the functionality of credit debit card uh, payment into our website so i was not able to fix their solution uh, fix their problem because uh, that language was ruby on rails and even one more pro issue was like there was uh, the checkout page was disabled so uh, people were not sure about they were just thinking about that we are just going to copy and paste the code and that uh, we are we will be ending with the solution but that was not the actual thing so for example i have this uh, shopify store you can see over here so if i am interested to use the uh, paypal uh, credit and debit card then what are the basic ways uh, which i can use to do it right so first of all i am gonna uh, uh, open up the dashboard of the of my shopify store so you can see over here and then you can click on online store so once you are clicking on online store then it would be uh, showing some customization process so wait a while wait for a while and it would be showing some buttons and there would be few options so you can see that here we have the action so once we are clicking on action then we have the uh, um, uh, link edit code so you need to click over there so if you have not subscribed my channel please don't forget to subscribe and also like the video because i'm trying my best to uh, add some value into my videos so here you can see that uh, i have a lot of files so layout and templates so if i am going to hide these then you can see over here like layout template section snippets assets config and locale right so in the section you will be getting most of the useful uh, useful uh, files but the thing is like if you are interested to uh, customize your checkout page then you must have the checkout.liquid uh, file in this list all right so if i don't have this that file over here so that means that is not enabled in my shopify basic plan so this is one of the reason that we are not able to use the PayPal credit and debit card functionality into our website. So what does it mean? It means that if you are purchasing $29 plan in uh, for your Shopify store, so at that moment you are not allowed to customize your checkout page. So checkout.liquid file would be hided by the uh, by the Shopify. They would be allowing only if you are purchasing their Shopify plus plan. So in that plan you will be uh, able to access the checkout.liquid file so in that you can add your code you can customize the checkout page you can do whatever you wanted to so that means the payment process you can completely change from the checkout page but that would be possible only if you will have that file so let me uh, show you the genuine comment of the Shopify. You, you can see that there are there is the community on the Shopify as well. So over there, people are asking the questions. So I searched around and I found this solution. So here you can see that where can I find my checkout.liquid file? So the solution was the checkout.liquid asset is available to Shopi Shopify plus merchants only. In addition, it needs to be enabled by the merchant success manager of a plus or a plus support specialist before you can edit it. You can view or edit this file under the layout section. When you navigate to online store themes, actions and edit code, if your store is not on Shopify plus, then you can see the guide to edit theme settings in the Shopify help center. So that means 
you will be only able to uh, customize your Shopify uh, checkout page if you are in the uh, if you are under the Shopify plus plan so they are uh, also guiding us that you will be getting that somewhere around in the assets so over here if you are getting checkout page so that means you can able to edit that uh, checkout page and do the customization and uh, you will end up with the solution but unfortunately i have also the shopify basic plan of 29 dollars so i am not able to uh, use that functionality in my website as well all right so what can be the alternate the alternate is like you can have the uh, shopify plus plan and you know that what's the cost of that two hundred two thousand dollars each month you have to pay if you are under the shopify plus plan so that is obviously expensive to the common people like me so how we can manage this is like you can develop a wordpress e-commerce store and over there you can use the shopify paypal uh, plan which is really simple just you need to install a plugin and you will end up with the solution right so there is nothing uh, difficult over there to use the paypal debit and credit card right so this is one of the solution otherwise uh, you can uh, use the stripe itself but if you are non-us uh, uh, if you are not uh, in the US or maybe the countries in which the Shopify uh, uh, has um, uh, available the support so you will not able to use their functionality as well because in most of the cases Shopify uh, uh, the stripe is just rejecting your activation process of the stripe right so uh, your account would be deactivated and they will be just uh, uh, giving you the response that your store has the high risk volume so we are unable to uh, continue the business because uh, your uh, your website is not suitable and even this is not meeting our uh, privacy policies right so at that moment you will get discouraged that why these are uh, they these guys are doing uh, something like that right so uh, finally the problem here is like checkout dot liquid file which is obviously important for us because if we are going to manage our orders on the Shopify if you wanted to manage your uh, addresses and wanted to manage the database itself so at that moment we have needed the checkout dot JSON uh, dot liquid file because over there they have all the bunch of code which we need to understand and then uh, we can do the customization but if we don't have the checkout dot J uh, checkout file then how we can imagine that what can be the uh, way to uh, do the customization and even you know that this is under the control of Shopify so definitely they keep watching on the activities whatever we are doing on the Shopify so of course they will uh, catch us if we are doing something wrong and even they are managing our database so they are also checking their policies and all so when we are doing the payment then of course they are also uh, getting the notice of what we are doing on our Shopify store one of my friend he was actually trying to uh, do the transaction of billion dollars so at that moment once he uh, added that specific amount uh, I mean he actually added a, a product and he just entered the amount over there like one th uh, one million dollars so once he was uh, he once he tried to do the payment then Shopify has logged all the stores which were which were connected to that specific email so uh, up till now Shopify is not allowing him to get back their stores so he had also two more stores and he was unable to access those one because those are also locked so these are the some uh, these are the problems because of which Shopify is little strict because uh, there are people who are not having the good uh, uh, good mind regarding the payment process so Shopify always keep uh, keep uh, watching all the activities which we do on the Shopify store right so these are the few things that I uh, thought that I need to share with you because most of the cases people are just wondering that how we can uh, get the solution of uh, this uh, this PayPal credit and debit card but they end up with nothing so that's why I thought that I have to create a video so that they could get the clear understanding of the payment integration so if that is not possible for you to spend two thousand dollars for the Shopify plus plan then of course you are uh, you are just uh, 
doing the hard work and you will not getting uh, the things out of the Shopify because if you haven't any alternate payment uh, method for the payment to accept the uh, accept from the customers so at that moment this would not be useful for you right so of course there is the uh, alternate which is WordPress and if you are stuck in that and I will definitely helping you out you can contact me I will be uh, adding my contact details into the description and if you are facing any specific issue you can discuss with me I will definitely helping you out with any technical issue uh, which you are facing so keep watching all those videos which I am uploading just subscribe my channel and like this video and share as well so thank you so much thanks for watching